Hey guys, Locally Lost Lapidary here, and today we're going to cut into this fire agate. It doesn't have any like crazy opalized fire or anything, but it's just beautiful. <laughs> um, I like all these swirls it has on the borders, on the trim. So I'm going to go ahead and take it to my wet tile saw and cut it down. Um, the first part I'm going to cut off is this little part right here. It's wet, by the way. I'm going to cut off this little nodule and kind of cab that out. And then I really like this side too, all these little marks. I'm gonna cut this out, work that out. Cause you can see the face, all right here is pretty good. But then right here, it's all dead. Just pretty much dead, all white. But all in all, it's a good stone. It's a lot better than this stone. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Emily said we might get lucky kind of chocolatey in there but jesus <laughs> that's a, <laughs> living on a prayer with that one so i'm gonna go ahead and take this to the tile saw cut some pieces out and i'll be right back and here we are i cut off a nice thick piece look at that material right there so i'm gonna make a cab out of this nice and thick nice dome this one's thin so i'm gonna do a nice little slice Probably if it's even, like the patterns, I'm gonna cut in half, make some earrings, or cut in half and make two rings with it. And then here goes another one. Look at that. And this one, I'm just gonna dome out the top. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one and see what happens. I may just do them all at once, actually. Yeah, I'll just do them all at once. All right, let's get to work. Here we are, all dopped up on some hot glue. Got three good pieces, the fire agate, and my 80 grit Amazon disc. Still doing me justice. I've had this thing for about two weeks now, and it's still working like the day I bought it. And I use this every day, sometimes twice a day. So if you ever need a good 80 grit diamond disc, that's only 15 bucks. Check it out. It's scotching on Amazon. It'll be at your doorstep in about uh, three days. And if you need a good lapidary machine, shoot for the high tech diamond slant cavern. Think the eight inch is 600 bucks still. I don't know if the slant cavern went up by $50 or not. I know the flat lap did, but uh, man, this lap, I don't, I've never worked on a flat lap, so I don't know no different. But I can tell you, I make some awesome cabs on this thing. So there's that. But all right, let's shoot off to the time lapse and I'm gonna get to work and shape these out. Alright guys, I'm done with the 80 grit. And let me tell you, now I know why people contour uh, polish these things. Just pit after pit after pit. I even got one there, but that's okay. I'm gonna electroform in there, fill it with copper. It'll be fine. But I got a nice little dome going on. A nice shape. Let me show you. This is gonna be a nice little cap. I like it. Nice pendant. Uh, the next one I did, again, just did a flat little ring. I'm gonna cut that in half. Try to make two earrings or one, I mean, or two rings. Just depends how it looks. There is one little pit right there, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Again, I can just come up a little bit, fill with copper. One of the beauties of electroforming. And then the last one, now this one I had the most trouble with. Talking about just running in pit after pit. Um, I got it to a decent freeform shape. Something I can work with. It looks really pretty. Very nice. A lot of black, red, and white swirls. Really uh, transparent. I'm definitely digging it. I'm sure it's going to look even better when I get done polishing it. 
Dang, that took a while. <laughs> Just playing, and I don't know if you noticed, yes, the hot glue sticks did pop off this, uh, those other two. Uh, that's what happens when you don't let your glue stick dry overnight. I'm kind of just jumping into this. But let's go ahead and get this done and see if we can make something out of nothing here. All right. Okay guys, we're done with the 180 grit. Got a good polish going on with this fire agate cab. Loving the marbling on the swirlage. Looks really good on that one. Uh, this one I smoothed out, smoothed it out a little bit. Got it going strong. Got a little crack there, but we're just gonna fill that up with copper. And there is some pitting right there at the top. But I'm pretty sure that's just natural. So it's all good. And then the last one, the flat one. I was just gonna make a ring with this, but it looks really pretty and I'm probably just gonna turn it into another pendant. So we got three pendants going on here. But all right, let's go on to this 300 right here and uh, get all these major scratches out real quick. done with the 300 diamond grit smoothed up pretty nice I really love how well agate polishes up it gets really glassy really fast there's that one here's this I was looking up on where to go fire agate hunting. And I found this one place, uh, could have, it's, man, I wanna say it's New Mexico or Arizona, but what was cool about it was for $50 an hour, you can have the owner of the mine walk with you and kind of show you where to go and like where to find the, the fire agates so you're not just out there in the middle of that basin, you know, with you know, <laughs> with your head up, you know what, just not knowing what to do. Like me, I wouldn't know where, where to start or where to begin. Um, I know fire agate starts, like came from a volcanic eruption a long time ago, millions of years ago, of course. And uh, while I was looking at it, I watched a couple videos of some people doing it and they were finding it in like seams and cracks. So, and they were just like having to pick it out of these seams and cracks cracks like deep 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 in there here we go you'd be surprised to see how far people will go inside of a cave on the side of a cliff to get a fire racket that one's coming up nice all right on to the silicon carbide All right, 300 grit, I mean, excuse me, 500 grit silicon carbide on the foam disc, done. Um, if you've missed this before, basically I cut out a EV foam disc, get some silicon carbide, uh, tumbling media here. It's only like, I think it was like $13 for two pounds on Amazon. It's 500 grit. I just rub it on here and go to town and it works every time it just gets it ready for those polishing pads gets it nice and smooth takes out most of, most of the rough patches and it really does the job check it out now let's check out the other ones there's another one here it's looking good 
It does make a mess, so you have to do a little cleaning before you move on. You don't want to contaminate anything, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. There's that. Look at that deep red right there. It's nice. And this one, we're just going to electroform all the edges. Like I did the Chrysa Cola. I'm just going to electroform all the way around. Hang it real nice. Nice little statement. Fire agate piece. The flat one, it caught an edge and flung off the super glue. I mean, the hot glue. And that's fine. With the polishing pads, I can just hold this flat piece down on the polishing pad. I don't really need anything. Any kind of dop stick. Just a little flat slab. And this is really pretty. All right. Let me go ahead and get this cleaned up and we'll get on to the polishing pads. done with the 325 grit polishing pad and this is really turning out I'm seeing some nice golden colors in there it's really starting to flame up I'm really liking that marbling swirl it's like someone threw some paint like together and is about to mix it up you know mother nature is awesome and then I have this other one too. Let's look at the... Uh, this other one's showing some signs of fire play. Um, I was checking it out. Like that little red river that's going through there. You see right there? There's a... There's signs of fire play. Like right up top there. But, It's really hard to see, but we'll get a close-up view here at the end. We'll definitely be able to see if we hit the fire or not. But I'm loving these colors for sure. I like how it's transparent. It's really making these colors pop, being against that clear background. Sorry for shaking the camera up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see right there at the bottom too. And then here goes the flat piece. Get that some water. The flat piece is looking really good. Lots of beautiful color play with that one. Nice and smooth too. I'm telling you, agate just polishes up so nice. Beautiful. All right, on to the six inch. finished with the 600 and look at that color on that cab I even did a little girdle on this cab I never do that but I just thought I would practice it a little bit came up pretty decent it's a pretty cab can't wait till we're all done and see these colors for real and their fullness <laughs> and their perfect form. Let's check out the other one. This one's coming around great too. I really like that deep red. This guy, the Rough Stone King, he sells, I think it was like three pounds of this fire agate for $180. Not all of it though is like opalized, but uh, that's a good deal. I mean, you're probably gonna get lucky, you know? 
I mean, that's that's a risk, but I might have to ask him to, if he can make me a special badge, like maybe with half that, that'd be cool. This one, this little flat piece is coming along great. This is gonna be a beautiful, beautiful little pendant. Probably hang it like that. I love that. All right, on to the 1200. done with the 1200 look at that shine nice polish definitely ready for the cerium let's check out the other one look at that you see we might get lucky see that little thing in the middle glistening we might get lucky here it's a really nice piece it's gonna hang just like that. Yeah, got a lot of glistening in that river part. <laughs> Let's check. Little flat piece. Doing great. Actually, here, let me dry it off. This one looks pretty glistening too. You see that? See that right there? I'm not seeing things. Alright. Yeah, it's glistening. Let's get this stuff to the cerium oxide. <laughs> Here we are, the three amigos, the fire agate squad, looking good and flaming hot. Look at that, beautiful. It was a pleasure cutting these. Mirror polish, everything looking right. Nice marbling, gotta love them. Here, let's look at them individually real quick. Let me set these down. Here's a nice high dome cab here. Perfect marbling. <laughs> it looks like someone just mixed paint, seriously. Deep reds, beautiful swirl, beautiful. Just gonna wrap that, those edges in copper, make it look real nice. Little button of fire and then we have this cab here this one's probably my favorite it has a nice stream of sparkle like play all down that check it out let's see if i can get it to spark yeah there it goes it's excellent yeah there it goes now it's really starting to show out <laughs> Again, just gonna wrap this in copper too. Nice little hot mama. Right, Emily? <laughs> Emily's here with us. Here's that one. And here is the last one, the last mini slab. Beautiful, look at all that play. This is gorgeous. I really want to take this out in the sun and give it a look out there. Wonder if it'll probably really be bouncing off the walls. Nice. Nice slab. And here they are again. All right. 
So now we're gonna do something a little different that we're gonna start be, start doing now from now on. I have this bag of jaspers and agates that we got in the last video and the mail call video. Um, we're gonna have Emily go ahead and pick a stone from here at the end of each video and that'll be the stone that we're gonna work on in the next video. So you have something to kind of look forward to. So, okay, let's give it off to Emily. Here you go, Emily. Put your little paw in there. This is gonna be a little challenge too. There's like a cut in right there. Yeah, this is gonna be real pretty. I'm looking forward to this one, seeing what, what it reveals. Take off this matrix too here. Oh yeah. All right guys. So we're gonna do the Mukite next. This was Locally Lost Lapidary. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe and like. Drop it, drop by in the comments below. Ask us anything. Maybe make a request on a, a specimen. I'll definitely throw it in the mix. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. We're out.